everybody. Welcome to VCR Party. Hey, welcome to episode five of VCR Party. Live with Joe and Nick. I'm Joe. This is Nick. And uh, for those of you who are new to the show, uh, we do a show called the Found Footage Festival. We find VHS tapes at thrift stores and garage sales. We've been touring this dumb show for the last 14 years. We've been collecting VHS tapes since like 1994. Yeah. Oh, one? Yeah, that's when the McDonald's Oh, that's when you got McDonald's, yeah. yeah. Uh, and so for, with this show, we want to uh, share with you our vast collection. And we, we, we've only gotten through a small percentage of all these VHS tapes here. We, I think we have like 7,000 videos. And, uh, We're making so, a dent week by week. Week by week, with yeah. You. yeah. You, uh, you guys are helping us watch way so, more yes, of these. Thank you for doing that. And, and one thing uh, we've started doing a couple weeks ago, and we're going to continue doing, is uh, the bunion surgery uh, tape oh, yeah. reveal? Is that we what didn't we're do it, it last week with uh, David Cross, because, right? But but yeah, because that well, was a packed show. But. Yeah. So uh, here's the tape. This uh, tape was found by me. I was taking out the trash in my apartment building, and this was on top of a dusty stack of VHS tapes in the trash. Uh huh. And you can see it's bunion surgery, bunion and surgery both spelled yep. wrong. I love the penmanship. We got to make T-shirts of this. They're really we have just. That just say bunion surgery. <laughs> and I just realized that we have in our, our web store, um, it's they have mugs. With, oh yeah, yeah. With we just, do have bunion surgery mugs. Tape. Glenn Glenn put them on there. And yeah. We didn't even know that we he put know. them on so there. Yeah. It's immortalized if you're really a fan. But anyway, the point is we had never watched this tape. We uh, thought it was like a bunion surgery special taped off Discovery. It Channel. might still be because we didn't we get through the whole it. thing. Yeah. Yeah. That's Everything's the point. taped in EP on this. There's like six hours worth of. Incredible footage on here. Right. Not incredible. I don't want to. I don't want to. Yeah. <laughs> so the first, incredible is a strong the word. The first week we did this, you showed me a promo for a Family Matters episode yeah. and where Urkel was singing the blues. Urkel was singing the blues, yeah. and so I just kind of scrubbed through the tape. I didn't have to go far from the Urkel no. thing <laughs> to find what I, appears to be a public access show from students, uh, and the, you know I live in Queens, New York, so the accents are there. I assume this is somewhere on Long Island or Queens, so. Let's this just, bunion surgery tape has it, everything. It's the gift that keeps on giving. Urkel, children, yeah. it's got it all. So let's just watch and, and listen to this uh, comedy show uh, involving jokes uh, with kids, hosted by kids, produced by Do kids. Do we talk over this one or not? I don't think so. I think okay. you want to hear the jokes. Joke spot! Uh, who has a joke? Tell us a joke. He does. What do you get when you mix a lawnmower with the parakeet? I don't know. What do you get? Sh shredded tweet. Very good. Funny in surgery. <laughs> Who else has a joke? A <laughs> joke spot. What do you get? Um, what's the difference between a snowman and a snowwoman? I don't know. What is what is the difference between a snowman and a snowwoman? Snowballs. <laughs> the dirty joke. The dirty joke. Dirty joke. <laughs> Only in Queens, New York, and that really gets him too. That really gets him. Yeah. He told a dirty yeah. joke in his class. Oh, why you know, why did the snowman smile? He saw the snow blow a coming. You know, it's, I mean, it could have gone on. He, he also looked like Schwartz from uh, Christmas Story. Yeah, yeah. He looked like he had the teeth and everything. Get my pop a squirt gun. Oh, ah, yeah. bunion surgery. I wanted that. It's, yeah. Yeah. So if you're just joining us, welcome to Joke Spot. Um, yeah. <laughs> and he just, and as the host of the show, he just goes, "You have a joke." I just had to bring the microphone around to kids. I He's not a very good host. No, I, I watched that one before. Yeah, I, I would yeah. watch. I mean, I wish the tape was just six hours of joke spot, but uh, I bet those kids are probably our age when this was shot. Yeah, you I know, would I, guess, I bet now Urkel, they're all grown up. They're probably our age. Yeah, if it was the same, it was contemporary with Urkel, but I don't yeah. know. We'll never know. All right, I can't wait. So next week is my I'm week. I'm passing that to you. Stay tuned. Next week yes. is my my turn with the bunion we'll, we'll surgery. We'll reveal a little bit more of the mysterious bunion surgery tape. Okay. All right. Show well, and tell time? Oh, wait. Yeah. Do we have oh, a business just, to take uh, care yeah, of? Yeah, we'll just mention a couple okay. things up top. Uh, May th This show is becoming a bi-monthly show uh, live in person, so you could come see us. Wait, bi monthly meaning uh, twice, once every twice a month? No, once every two months. Once every two months, yeah. okay. So, uh, and the first one's gonna be May 31st at the Alamo Draft House in Brooklyn, mm -hmm. and it's gonna be called VCR Party. We have no idea what we're gonna play at it either. No, I assume it'll be some of the best stuff we found, some new stuff that we found since we started doing yeah. this internet show. We might have a guest. Yeah, we'll I bring think a guest so. on yeah. if, if, if we can get somebody. Yeah, and I, uh, they put this on sale like last week, and it's already half sold out. So uh, get your tickets now. It's gonna be fun. It'll build, and and we'll do that another one again in yep. July. And also, we're uh, let's see, the first June sixth, we're 
at the Seattle Film Festival. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so tell your Seattle pal, pal, pals about that. And, and then uh, the following week, we're uh, doing a show at the Origins Game Fair. Well, oh, yeah. at the same time as the Origins Game Fair, uh, Game Fair in uh, Columbus, Ohio. It's a big board game convention. But even if you're not at that, you can come see us at the uh, Gateway Cinema at, on June 13th. We're doing a special show called Salute to Nerds. And we'll just be playing our nerdiest clips, stuff like uh, Magic the Gathering instructional tapes. Mm -hmm. and we're, we're digging out some all Pokemon this. Some Pokemon stuff. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, uh, yeah, let's move into show right. and tell. Show and tell. We, we got need some, some sort of a transmit, transition music. Once we get the Patreon up, up and going, we need some yeah. trans, like we'll hit a button and then there'll be a cold music. Yeah, donate if you want to see that transition. Yeah. Um, okay, <laughs> you're going first. Oh, right, okay. So, um, yeah, all right. Let me just, I just watched this today and wanted to show it to you. It's called Training the Mass Server. Uh, from the liturgical press, and this caught my eye because I grew up Catholic and was an altar boy, and the reason I did it is because church was so boring that I wanted to have something to do. I couldn't just stay in my seat and listen to church. So I got something to do, you know, in Catholic Mass. Have you ever been to a Catholic Mass? No. There's a lot of, like, pomp to it. It's like you wear vestments, you go to this chalice, take out this thing, wipe the, you know, there's ritual to it. And uh, the, the priest has assistants, which are like two prepubescent boys. And uh, it, it's usually like you're, you're basically like holding the Bible for him to read out of and things like that. And it gave me something to do, but I was so unqualified for this. And kids, you're handling food. I mean, I know it's supposed to be the body of Christ, but generally you're kind of oh, yeah. handling food. People are putting it in their mouth. And, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And wine glasses and goblets. Yeah. The priest does the heavy lifting, but you're basically taking dirty, smelly children and having them... Oh, because you know they're not washing their hands. No. You know they're like wiping their nose and, and like they're doing all and that. And that's covered in this... Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. And I, after this, I want to find out about what your church-going church like, like, experience was. Oh, but, well, my church-going experience? Yeah. I like um, the title, Training the Mass Server. Yeah. It kind of sounds like a Guided by Voices song. Song. And it comes with a prayer that you should say before serving. Before watching the VHS yeah, tape? And let me just say, I never said a prayer before serving. I, uh, in fact, there's one time where I remember not thinking I was going to church, so I had just bought a matching pair of Hawaiian shorts and a Hawaiian shirt at Shopco, and it was the loudest... It was the loudest shirt. <laughs> That's such a Nick Pruitt yeah. circa 1987 <laughs> outfit. Oh, I know. I mean, just, just imagine this butterball kid coming in. <laughs> Breath smells like Cheetos. And I'm like, oh, church? So I go to church. And I'm, you probably still had a Kool-Aid mustache. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I go to church and I'm like, well, I guess I'll put on my robes in the locker room and like go handle some incense. And they talk specifically in this about like how did you where, not know that you had didn't, how, how did you I was fail to staying realize you had at my I was think I was staying at my aunt's house and I was like oh I'll, I get out of church the next oh, day and okay. they, it was like nope you're going yeah. and I was on the schedule so but they talk about you should wear formal clothes underneath I that day I was wearing Shopco Hawaiian shorts so okay. here's a little bit of training the mass server do we talk over this one or no we can yeah. Okay. Pressure on the people there. The same holds true for serving Mass. Take some simple steps to make sure you are at your best while serving Mass. I wasn't. Get a good night's rest so you aren't yawning through the whole service. <laughs> your hands, including your yeah, fingernails exactly. and your face, should be clean. Never once. And your hair should be clean and combed. <laughs> if you have a cold, Make sure you have a tissue or a handkerchief in your pocket. Yeah, kid has a handkerchief. <laughs> if you feel the need to sneeze during Mass, don't sneeze into your hand or into the air. Use the tissue. Do it into the Bible. Care and respect <laughs> for the church building and all Was that their edit? No, I, oh. I chopped it up a little oh, bit. Uh, One way you can show your respect is by using good posture before, during, and after serving. Imagine how bad it would look if your priest came slumping down the aisle in church, looking everywhere but where he was going, and then either slouched in his chair or leaned on the altar like he was too tired to stand up I'd be straight. entertained by that, I think. Servers who shuffle around as if they were about to topple over from tiredness or boredom at any moment draw attention to themselves. 
Maybe don't make church so boring, you know? Yeah. Like, it's have a not... rock band up there. <laughs> yeah, they're kids. Yeah. They draw attention away from the mass. Posture may seem awkward at first, so you may want oh, to practice. This is about bowing. When you bow to the altar, bow deeply at the waist and bring yourself slowly to your full height. Did you bow at the altar? Think of how Oriental people bow to each other and why they do it. <laughs> yeah, that's what they're called. For them, that's what you call it. Is a natural. Think about why they do it. Everybody, stop and think about that. <laughs> so that's training the mass server. So, so was that intended th for kids? Yeah, uh, I think so. Yeah, it was for the mass servers to watch. Like okay. I watched this whole thing too, and I was just riveted about all the stuff that I knowingly did wrong. You watched the entire thing? Yeah. Huh. And uh, but it did make church entertaining. I was an altar boy f until I think I got disturbingly too old for it. Really? But yeah, my mom was a. Uh, Distur what do you mean disturbingly too old? Well, like at a certain point, you're like that guy's a little too old. He's got a little bit of a mustache going. He probably shouldn't be an altar boy. <laughs> like you could have been the priest. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. At that point, like, what are you doing, wasting your time here in the minors? You know. Hey, here's you know what? Here's the video that we got to find. Okay. Is you remember the? Uh, I can't remember who it was. It was somebody in middle school. Dan Dreyer. Dan Dreyer. Yeah. Who passed out? Yes. In it. Yes. They were doing the Stations of the Cross, and Catholic Church is long. A mass is like an hour. And this is extra long, it's around Easter, I think. And so he was just standing like this in church while they're droning on about the Stations of the Cross. <laughs> and you see him kind of like wobble a little bit and his knees buckle. Yeah. And then he's a tall guy, just straight down on a step. It's, it's America's Funniest Home Videos worthy. It's funniest... like it, it, yeah, it's and, so good. And I remember like Dan just came to school the next day and he had a big welt on his forehead. I'm like, what happened? And then later we saw that tape. But also, here's the other thing I remember yeah. from it, is that the guy next to him, I think it was Jonathan Eds, yeah. is that his name? Yeah. He uh, didn't know what to do. His, <laughs> no his classmate did. just fell over and Jonathan Eds is standing there and I remember, didn't he kind of like, it looked yeah. like he was like telling, like he was doing like baseball signals. Yes. He was like he's, touching he's, his nose. He was kind of like, oh God, what's know? happening? <laughs> like can an adult just, step in here? He didn't know what to do with his arms. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, church is just inherently funny because it's is, like, yeah. Does that video exist somewhere? Can we find uh, it? Apparently the youth minister took it with him and moved uh, when he moved. It was in that library of All tapes. Right. So. You keep in touch with the youth minister? Or? Uh, <laughs> no, I should. <laughs> Uh, but his name's John Casey, so maybe I'll find him. All right. Maybe I'll find him. Uh, maybe he's watching right now. <laughs> maybe he's one of the 68 people watching right now. John, uh, send in the video. I got a religious video too here. Oh, great. Um, this is, how, I, I got this just, I saw this recently, just for the title, How to Raise the Dead. Look at that cover. How to Raise that the Dead. Yeah, I think we opened this beautiful. live. Beautiful. Look at that thing. Wow. I love this one. So uh, it's about yeah, raising did. a zombie army and... I mean, I thought it was going to be like the Necronomicon. Yeah. There's something where you have, you to, you have to recite some... Phrases and then the the dead. Uh -huh. it, it's a little disappointing. I'm gonna go ahead and say that. Okay. Um, but it's it's this guy. Here, here he is, R. W. Shambach. He's on the back cover here. He is right out of Central Casting for touring evangelist. Oh, like, like a, a revival tent. Kind oh, of guy. he's sweaty and he's yeah. so good. He's so good. Like you watch him and yeah. you actually are like, oh, this guy knows what he's talking yeah, about. Like maybe maybe all this bullshit is for real. And uh, he, he talks about, in the, in the intro, he talks about how um, he cured a person of AIDS. Um, oh, sure. Yeah. yeah. Stuff <laughs> talks, that can do. Like, yeah. just real bold shit. Like, this guy is just shameless. <laughs> yeah, like, when you're that bold, people will believe you. Yeah. And uh, hold on, let me read the last sentence. Okay. One of the most dramatic and powerful illustrated sermons ever filmed, must viewing for you and your loved ones. And so the, the climax of this is them raising the dead. So he brings out these coffins and they have like pallbearers and everything. It, it suddenly turns very serious. He acts like they're, they're gonna like bury somebody. Yeah. And, and uh, they bring him up on stage and he starts doing a sermon. And that's, that's where I'm gonna start okay. with this. I can't wait to see this. I'll, 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 Sounds I'll like you're on board with whatever happens. Oh yeah, yeah, you'll, okay. you'll, you'll be converted. <laughs> you'll, you'll wanna be an altar boy again okay. here. But we shall all be changed in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye. At the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised Watch this. incorruptible. It is. We shall be changed. Yeah. The trumpet's going to sound. The dead <laughs> are going to it worked. He wasn't dead the we whole shall time. Be no. Changed. Wow. 
I love those moves. I want an actual zombie to come out of the other one. I know. And start biting people. He did this in the South Bronx. That's what this is? This is in the South Bronx, yeah. Whoa. He kept touting about how dangerous it was there, too. Look, look what a pro he is. Hold it! Hold it! Hold it! Hold it! Hold it, everybody! Stop shouting! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! You go ahead and dance, son. You up. <laughs> Harry! It's a showman. He is. He's doing crowd work. So, so the other coffin, nobody came Steve! out of it. Yeah. I Go love ahead, it. Gabriel, blow it again! That's Gabriel the angel. Yeah. I thought this was a mistake. It's not a mistake. It's part of the bit. It's like a magician who screws up. And yeah. Then, yeah. Was this your card? Comes yeah. out of the... Wow. He's losing him. Hear me! No, no, no. He's never losing Hear him. Hear me! You know why Bill can't get up? He's so good. He can't hear the trumpet. He attended a Shambach revival in the South Bronx, and when the altar call was given, he didn't come to receive Christ. That's why. Oh. It says that dead in Christ shall rise first. Powerful message. So let that be he a lesson. He got him back on board. Oh, yeah. Wow. I, I bet he's done that about 50 times. Oh, yeah. Know? It's it's like, yeah, he's probably just backstage smoking a cigarette right beforehand. Going, yeah. we're, doing the, we're doing the coffin thing? All right. <laughs> he's Great. Krusty the Clown, basically. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, um, wow, that's good. Well, that's a little bit of old-time religion to start off the yeah, show. Yeah, we're starting, yeah. Um, there's no theme to mind. I just uh, found this one on the shelf today, and it was like, What's this all about? Photographing women. Mm -hmm. um, I like where you're going. Yeah, and it has a, a striking cover. You never see the narrator of this, but I swear the, the narrator is a Martin Short character. Um, <laughs> if, like, if you could see him, I bet that's what it would be. Uh, Norman Phillips is the name. Mm -hmm. And I, this is a real brief part. I didn't watch the whole video, but this part I thought was funny. So we'll just watch like a, a minute here. We can get so wrapped up in those beautiful eyes and that lovely face and we're putting hands in the photograph and we're getting all these ugly claws, fingers coming towards you. Um, lots and lots of fingers. There's so many fingers in that photograph. It could almost be um, hot dogs, I guess. I don't know, but I think it's ugly and we don't really don't need it. Here's a Okay, that was it. That's it? <laughs> yeah, he just described the fingers so, being so ugly, they look like hot dogs. So, um, I also like how he's mic'd too well, where you can yeah. hear all of his. Yeah, it's the NPR mic that he had on. Uh, there's got to be more to this, but um, I was. You never see him. All you see is examples of his photos. I want more of that. Yeah, I think if he's anything like that, and describing things like hot dogs and how somebody's fingers are ugly and claws, I think. It's oh gonna, yeah, if he's kind of catty and yeah. yeah, it's pretty promising. Is the whole video like that where you just see yep. pictures it's of just, women he's and he talks over? Giving examples of what to do and what not to do. So wow. All right. useful, also pretty funny. All right, I'm, I, I, I'm not proud of this, but I went to a DVD this week because oh. I've been dying. I've been dying to oh, know. We just went down to 36 viewers. We lost <laughs> half our viewership. I've been wanting to watch this one for so long. It's on the cover, so boring. Like, yeah. look at that. This is like, I, I'm sure this was in the impulse buy section at a Napa Auto Parts or something. And we you know? had it and didn't think anything of it. I don't, I don't even think, know why we had it. We didn't look why at would, the Why back. would we buy this? Yeah, because look at look at the back here. Look at this. They have two hunks, shirtless hunks Oily, on the back. greased up hunks. You look at the cover; it just looks generic. Imagine how then many. All of a sudden, uh, imagine how many people got the bait and switch, like want to be mechanics. Well, but here's the thing: it, it's very basic uh, car mechanic tips. And, oh, so uh, oh, as a purist, you dubbed this on VHS. I did. Okay. I put this all on VHS. All yeah, right. it's just easier. So it was for women who wanted to be. Um, not get duped by their mechanic kind of thing? No, it's just very oh. basic stuff like filling up 
your tires with air and okay. how to put coolant in and how to uh, change the windshield wipers. Just the okay. this is the really easy and stuff. And I want to see. I haven't seen this, so I don't know if the hunter. Here, here's involved. the here's the other thing. Yeah. It says uh, running time approximately 60 minutes. It, seriously, it's not longer than eight minutes. This whole, the whole video, thing? the whole video is about eight minutes long. That is. Yeah. I wonder if they forgot to change it in their template for DVDs. They're just like. I don't know. Right. I don't know what they were doing. But anyway, okay. So anyway, to set this one up, they um, use a lot of. They have these hunks there, and they try to use a lot of euphemisms. So they try to make oh. it funny. It's one of those how-to videos where they're like, "Is it? Well, let's we'll just watch it, and then I'll ask you the question." Just watch. Listen to these euphemisms. They don't make any sense. And I'm going to ask you to observe silence. Okay. During, here I got it. All right. Um, I'm going to ask you to observe silence during this because you want to hear these euphemisms. They're barely euphemisms. Your antifreeze keeps your engine cool. We'll show you how to check it. You should regularly check your antifreeze reservoir level to prevent overheating. Overheating? If your reservoir what? is low or empty, or, empty. or the temperature what? gauge in your car is reading toward hot, Oh, oh. Your service station the only one that works. Leaks. Leaks. Make sure your engine is cold and not running before you remove the radiator cap. Take your antifreeze tester and stick it in oh. to the radiator. Right. Squeeze the tip and suck up some antifreeze into the tester. <laughs> the antifreeze part. If Wait. you have three or four balls floating, you're okay. But <laughs> Who has Why oh, is it sexy to have three or four balls? Overheating. They keep you from overheating. <laughs> That's most of the running time. Uh, here's huh? the other guy. Here's the other oh, model. Okay. Careful. Oh, fit the spare tire in place. Oh, yeah. Get it? Yeah. Once it's in place, put the lug nuts back on hand tight. Hand tight. <laughs> Lower the car back to the ground and use your lug wrench to get your nuts good and tight. No one and wants their nuts tight. Don't forget to have that flat fixed right away. Wow. Yeah. Um, is it all that, that <laughs> the ridiculous? The whole thing, all eight minutes. They <laughs> oh, do wow. that for everything. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, yeah, they start off a euphemism, but they can't finish it. So yeah. it's like, yeah, the... It's like, well, if your balls are floating... No, no, no. Three or four balls. balls. If you have three or four balls floating... <laughs> what is what, three or four... But that's not a thing. Like, the word no. balls is, but three or four of them? Yeah. It's there. It's all like, that's what she said, level like, yeah. he, comedy there. I think it's sub, that's yeah. what she said. Yeah. That's what she said is actually, like, a little bit kind of clever. Like this is do like. Do you want to announce the contest for? Oh yeah, yeah. Show? We're gonna do a yeah. contest. We're gonna do our, our weekly giveaway, and here, here's what it is. If you can come up with a euphemism, come up in, in the comment section. Come up with a euphemism that sounds like it's dirty, but isn't dirty at all. And is it? Does it have to be car related? Or oh yeah, and let's make it be okay, car, car related. related. <laughs> dirty <laughs> euphemism. Car all right, I can't wait to read these. Car related euphemism. That sounds sounds dirty, dirty but, but isn't at all. The more you all. think about it, it doesn't make sense. And then we'll okay. send you a goodie bag of our DVDs yeah, and our some digital downloads and uh, yeah, a big care package from us. So. I'm not going to send you car care tips because that's that's ours. It's priceless. Yeah, it's yeah. I've got one more to show you, and what made me think about this one? Uh, this is called uh, Timeout. And this is a star-studded um, video that talks about AIDS and HIV. And it was like Magic Johnson, Paul Abdul, Kirstie Alley, Blossom, Tom Cruise, Jasmine Guy, Kadeem Hardison, Neil Patrick Harris, Luke Perry, Paul Rodriguez, Pauly Shore, Sinbad playing a uh, condom, uh, Malcolm Jamal oh. Warner, and, oh yeah, here's Sinbad. Yeah, you can condom. see Sinbad. Yeah. I, I wanted to show you that one, but I watched it. It was actually pretty funny. <laughs> it was, <laughs> was it? It was pretty good, yeah. Um, <laughs> and uh, But the reason I wanted to show it to you is because when we were watching Bunyan Surgery two weeks ago, um, and you were so enamored with that Urkel thing. I know you're a big Urkel fan. Love Urkel. You do a bit Urkel That's my impression. number one impression. Hey, baby. Oh, yeah, yeah. pretty good. Um, and uh, he has his own music video in this. He's rapping. It's about time. About, not abstinence, but yeah, sort of, like waiting, basically. Okay. Uh, so I'll play as much of this as you can stomach, and okay. maybe it'll be the whole thing. Oh, nope. Oh, that's not it. <laughs> I forgot oh, no. to put in the tape. 
All right, we're giving away. Hold on, hold on. That's your final video. That, that's my final I video. Kind of want to just watch that. Yeah, 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 All right, yeah. we'll watch this first. <laughs> okay, this is uh, Jaleel White, not Urkel. I'm sorry. Um, rapping. Dangerous game. Think Tom Cruise. Yeah. Okay, you roll it. Yep. Content's under pressure. I just might blow. Content's under pressure. I just might blow. Content's under pressure. I just might blow. I'm not ready for the wild thing. Mm. Staring in the mirror, and what do I see? Drops and drops of sweat pouring down. We got you pretty good. Leave the school with a kind of screwy, 'cause I passed up on the school door now. Something about rejection, it really turns her on. Sounds like you really like talking, but she won't leave me alone. My buddy said, Yo, we gonna bust it out, dude. Those aren't his friends. I was making friends. it with Judy, gives you clout. But Jay's not a jerk, even though she is a teaser. I'm not about to treat the female like a teaser. If I step to her and do it, she will all stop the teaser. Her principle be more of this straight up teaser. Content's under pressure, I just might blow. Content's under pressure, I just might blow. He's not ready for the wild thing. I don't mind that song. It's it's not horrible. That's it's not why as bad we've as never I played it in the show because it's like, well, you know, it's it's not bad. It's it's I think it's more. It sounds like a, like a black sheep song or something. Yeah, yeah. I just think like the production was actually pretty he, good. He just looks too much like Urkel at that age to be like the cool guy who hung out with like Leonardo DiCaprio and all that. So he's. And also, in the, the song, it's Judy, who's the love interest, who wants to do it with him, and he's not ready for the wild thing. Why not Laura? I think, like, you're, oh, you're yeah. missing half Miss your audience. Or Myra. Going. I mean, they could have done that. Well, Myra. yeah. He didn't uh, like but Myra. content's under pressure, I just might blow. Is it because he's so horny? Uh, I think so, yeah. Uh, and well, he's being pressured to have sex by his girlfriend, and he doesn't want to do it. Like he, you said, he just he's might not... blow, like, semen wise. Um, I think you might be reading into it too much. I okay. think it's more about the pressure. Does, right? I'm just wondering, does he explain it later? Yeah, yeah, he, <laughs> he does say it was seen. <laughs> Jaleel White reveals at the end okay. what it was really about. All right, well, speaking of horny and contents under pressure, I just might blow. I, uh, this, here's another, this is another DVD. This is in the DVD collection. I'm just going to rewind it and keep but it But it, it was shot on VHS. It was shot on VHS. Yeah. We got this one from, okay, so uh, Jeff Krulik did a, a popular underground movie called uh, Heavy Metal Parking Lot. It's so good, and if you haven't seen it, you got to see it. Well, I don't know what his relationship is to Rudy Childs, but Rudy Childs gave us... We, he, Jeff introduced us to Rudy. I'm not going to go into the whole story. But we got a video from Rudy, who's Jeff's buddy, of him also shooting Also a heavy video. metal fan who works in media. And he yeah. called this one... Heavy metal beach party. Yeah. And so it's kind of like heavy metal parking lot, but just at a beach party in Fort Lauderdale. And this guy, Rudy, I, I think legend has it. I might be getting the story wrong, but it's some variation of this. He was working at CBS and he stole or borrowed without permission all their equipment and the microphone that says CBS. <laughs> And so you'll see the CBS microphone throughout this it whole thing. It's about the most un, un news like broadcast you could possibly Oh, yeah, yeah, imagine. yeah. It's so far from Dan Rather. <laughs> Not even close. So anyway, the, the scene I'm going to show you, and, uh, uh, the reason I'm showing you this is because I've been thinking about this one for the last, like, six months. Oh, I've been okay. wanting to watch the whole thing. And uh, uh, so this guy, they have the camera out, and this guy in Fort Lauderdale, drunk guy, hijacks the, the microphone. And so the guy you're going to see on here is not with the crew. Yeah, he's, he's not Rudy. He's just like a yeah. drunk guy who just grabbed the mic, and then they just started following him and let him do all the interviews. And he's really drunk, and he's harassing people. And it's it's kind of hard to watch Yeah, because it's so awkward, and this guy is such a... I call him the ultimate scumbag. Like, he's ultimate scumbag man. Okay. Like he's as, so we're not endorsing this, but we're saying... And w this guy's out of control. Yes. Okay. Um, it, it's great television, but nobody should act like this guy. <laughs> okay. Nobody act like this guy. Okay. But it's fantastic television. Okay. All right. And I, I think I want to ask for silence. Just. I won't just say to, anything. Okay. All right. No, you can't record. Whoa! That's the guy on the right. Marlboro shirt. Oh. Here, get over okay. here. Right, right, right. She's gonna talk. She's gonna talk. I'll talk. What do you okay. want to say? Where are you from? What's your name? Uh, originally in New York, Rochester, New York, but I'm now living down here. And how horny are you? <laughs> <laughs> Bad. How horny are you? 
Pretty much. <laughs> All right. Tonight, how horny are you going to be? Wait, wait. I, I'm going to yeah. rewind. I'm going to rewind. How, how horny are you? Well, Pretty first, much. First, I like, where do you live? Follow-up question. How horny are you? How horny are you? Pretty much. All right. Tonight, how horny are you going to be? Very. Very. Ooh. <laughs> For a Lauderdale's worth that. You guys aren't gonna be that. You're not gonna be that. Man. He'll take uh, care of you. Yeah. They laugh. They just want him to leave. <laughs> uh, I just no. want him to. He's a menace. You guys are gonna be on the Playboy Channel now if you talk right. Oh. How horny do you like to be at night? <laughs> no comment. Huh? No comment. No comment. How about you, sweetheart? I don't. You don't, you don't have any comment? You don't have any comment for that? Huh? How hard did you get when you were with your boyfriend? How hard did you get when you were with your boyfriend? I don't. <laughs> you gotta get horny. Watch this part here. You got Jesus earrings on and you don't get horny? Watch this. No. No, you got to. Everybody gets horny. Ow! Whoa, I'm sorry. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> oh, no. He burnt her with a cigarette. Horny. Wait, wait, just rewind in case you didn't see that. Yeah. He burnt her with his, presumably, a Marlboro cigarette. Well, he's this got brand loyalty. Woman. Don't yeah. get horny? No. No, you got to. Everybody gets horny. Ow! Whoa, I'm sorry. Yeah, burn it! <laughs> Everybody's got to get horny. Everybody oh, does get horny. And then he continues his talk. <laughs> sorry, I just burned you with my last okay. cigarette. Right, my people leave. Give me a sign-off, sign off, man. Give me a sign-off. 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 Give me Yep. Oh, uh, yeah. Yep. And you actually see it, right? Yeah, and okay. uh, he does we, actually pull it out. Community standards, we can't show that. Yeah, no, we would get in trouble. For, I would say he that. probably is the biggest scumbag. I would. I would. It doesn't get any bigger than no. that guy. And, and, and just, you know what? We I didn't show a lot of that too. Yeah. I, I here, here's the thing. Like, if if anybody wants to come down to our office, <laughs> drop us an email. And I will show you the the I will show you the full okay. uncut you ultimate scumbag. You have to be a Patreon. You have to be a Patreon. <laughs> you, have to be Patreon. The, you have to be the thirty dollars a month Patreon. Yeah, but and then come on down yeah. and we will show you. The we'll show you anything you want. Scumbag. Yeah, we'll show you yeah. all the scumbag. We'll show all you all the stuff we can't show. Well, I stuff. just yeah, that was nineteen eighty seven. That, that guy, honestly, he reminds me a lot of you. Like, Thank you. Very little difference. Appreciate that. Yeah. And the, the Me Too movement just started, so yeah. <laughs> women have had to endure that for uh. 40, well, much longer than that. So oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully that's all changing. But uh, the guy's an entertaining creep. I mean, I'll give him that. Yeah. Uh, well, let's do our... Uh, an, uh, what was his question? Oh, how, the, horny, how horny how do, you do you like to, to be, be at, at night? night? <laughs> <laughs> how do you answer that? How do you answer that? How do you answer? 100? Yeah, uh. what, and what's the scale? Um <laughs> Very, he said. It's either or, very or not much. Yeah. I think pretty much was probably the best answer. Yeah. The How horny do you like to be when you're with your boyfriend? CBS was journalists ask the tough questions. I'm telling you. Um, yeah. All right. Well, uh, yeah, we wanted to do a show and tell. We or, uh, what do we call this? Slide show. Just cover slideshow. Yep. So these, this is one for footage. Maybe not that great, but the covers are great. So we wanted to show them. To and you. we have a theme to this one. This one is uh, sharpies, uh, <laughs> where where sharpies are written on the VHS tape in some capacity yes. or, there, or there's some sort of writing on the actual VHS yeah. tape tape whether it's sharpies or I don't, I don't know we'll, well, we'll see, see the, the theme this one we've shown in our show it's the clown face carpenter and I found this one at a thrift store in Florida and just saw it like on the shelf like this and it's like what could this video possibly be clowning video is it a carpentry? horror movie yeah, we didn't know um, was... I, I I was hoping that it was a, a Wu-Tang Clan member that I'd never heard of before I, that's what I was hoping. Called the clown face car. You got the yeah. ghost face killer. You got the clown face right. carpenter. And uh, we turned it around. And woodpecker video. Yeah, it's a woodpecker video. It's about video. woodpecker video. But if you can see there, look at the sharpie. This is Grandma Bachman's copy. It's yep. very, very faint, which is probably why she lost it. But if Grandma Bachman, if you're watching tonight, and you're a Patreon patron, we will <laughs> return this video to you uh, because we want to return it to its rightful over. The video itself is boring. Yeah. Uh, do you think Grandma Bachman did that, or do you think like somebody else did that? Yeah, no one calls themselves Grandma. Well, no, maybe they do. That's a I good don't know. question. I don't know. Answer us in the comments. What do um, you think? All right, so here's this one. Uh, okay, it's it's a it's a movie called No More Baths. It's just it's hard to show you a cover. <laughs> you can't use that isn't, to Okay, so I'll just show you, uh, and it has Shrek written across it, yep. but not just there. It's written on the side. Yep. It's written on the back. Shrek. 
Uh, Shrek is written there too. It's kind of hard to read. Um, and then you open up the tape, and it's, it's Shrek. Shrek. <laughs> so it's not as advertised. It's not no, no more, more bads. bads. Feature, no more feature films for families. Yep. This one, pretty simple. Steward Little Two. Yep. So you know that classic Little Mouse, the classic children's story, Steward yep. Little. Yeah, I always like to see what's. And that is like an, a "Hello, my name is" label too. That's not a VHS oh. label. <laughs> yes, it is. I didn't even notice that. Um, all right, here's uh, Marty McGee Bennett, "The Wonderful World of Llama Wool," um, but somebody added a dollar sign. At the, at the <laughs> yeah, end I love of that. Llama Wool. Bravo. And then also somebody wrote up here, "What's up, dog?" <laughs> Bravo. <laughs> Bravo. So great. Uh, Wonderful world of llama yeah. wool. Okay. Take a bow, defacer. Uh, this one, we just found in our movie section. We're like, why did we save Wayne's World? Yeah. And then we popped it up. Mom's Wayne World. <laughs> Wayne's World. So this. Mom's Wayne's World. Mom's there's a lot Wayne's of, there's World. There's a lot of possessives yeah, yeah. in there. So that's Mom's copy of Wayne's World that we have now. So okay. if anybody knows Mom. Yep. Um, speaking of uh, mom, here's collateral damage. And this is another one. It's like, why do we have this one in our collection? Yeah. Well, here's why. Because it says dad <laughs> across Arnold Schwarzenegger's forehead. Yeah, and Father's Day is <laughs> right around the corner, right? It's so, yeah. yeah, collateral yeah. damage. I hope to all the collateral damage dads out there, yeah. happy early Father's Day. Uh, we'll end with this one, which has some very disturbing uh, Sharpie. Yeah. This is Dixick, Tommy, as a toodler. Toodler, not toddler. Yeah. As, a toodler. <laughs> as a toodler. And it's a whole movie, you yep. know, pretty boring. But uh, look at how defensive this person was. Record over and you'll die. Yep. <laughs> you'll die. <laughs> yep, they so, mean business. Yeah. That's that's a threat right there. So that we, is not a warrant. That's the threat. We have not recorded over this It says it on this, this side, too. Yeah, record, record over, and, over die. and die. on both sides. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, yeah. This one says record over and die. This one says record over and you'll die. Right. So we have not recorded over that. Maybe we should watch this video next week. Okay. Yeah. Let's see what's on it. Yeah. It could be the next button. Yeah. Uh, all right. I think we got time to unbox a couple yeah, of yeah. Uh, things. People send us videos um, and uh, we open them live on the air. So if you found a tape, send it to our address, which we'll put up. Um, and we got a, a new box cutter here with our uh, our early Patreon uh, yeah. people. We were able to buy a box well, yeah, while cutter. We're, while we're mentioning that, you can go to our patreon.com slash found footage And we're going to stop talking about this eventually. I know yeah. it's annoying. I hate bringing it up. I hate asking for money. But yeah, seriously. It's, it's like, already we... week two. <laughs> Dear God. Yeah, no, but we, we wanted to mention that if you won't go chip in, you know, a couple bucks a month, five bucks a month, ten bucks a month, we can improve the show. Keep it going because it, it costs us money. And uh, we got a good one, St. Louis Earthquake Survival Guide. Yes. A, a very specific. Oh, yes, that's awesome. Yeah. We have another one over there called How to Pick Up Women in St. Louis. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Let me so grab maybe that. We, maybe we could play both uh, St. Louis Earthquakes and How to Pick Up Women in St. Louis. Yeah, that could be a fun, like, dual show. While you're, while you're grabbing that one, I'll show you what I just opened up. Uh, donkey Training. <laughs> yeah. With uh, Crystal Ward. And uh, here, here's what they cover here. Topics include uh, standing tide grooming, boring, boring, boring. Uh, the obese donkey. Here's, oh, here's, no. here's a great one. Measuring a donkey. <laughs> <laughs> See how you measure a donkey. And then uh, the, the one that we're probably going to show next week is donkey castration. So Oh, great. I think we'll just focus yeah. on that. Well, I can't find week. how to pick up women in St. Louis, but we'll watch. We'll, we'll do an all St. Louis episode yeah. show and tell. Yeah. We'll, or we'll just show that in St. Louis. This is still in shrink, whatever this is. How to oh, live forever. How to live forever. Yeah. Starring uh, Gary Null, who is immortal. Yep. Um, so I believe him. And this is by MPI, which put out a lot of videos. In, in our, they do a lot of special interest videos. Like what was it, MPI? Yeah, it's just a, a VHS production company. They produced oh. a lot of these. Yeah. Um, oh, I love this box cutter. Oh, wow. I can't stress this enough. Oh, how to be happily married. That's a three-part series. Bro. Three-part series. Oh, these are great. Yeah, Keep them coming, is. guys. Yeah. This is, uh, you've outdone yourselves. How to be happily married. Phenomenal. We'll finally find, find out. Steve's getting married pretty soon. Yeah, Steve, our yeah, director, is our getting director. getting married. Yeah, so we'll, we're gonna, we'll let you borrow this. We're going to force him to watch those. Yeah. Um, um, that's it. We uh, uh, want to leave you. The NBA playoffs are in full swing, and we have a video here we wanted to end with. This is from the world champion at the time, um, Los Angeles Lakers. And you had stars in there. You had um, Kareem, James Worthy, Kurt Rambis, oh. who's my favorite uh, athlete of all time, because he looks like the guy 
in the heavy metal spring break Thing. He's oh, the kind of guy who would have a lit when he was out. Yeah, when he was out on the court, he wore that Marlboro shirt. Yeah, didn't he? I, yeah. to my recollection, I remember that. They, they're the same guy. Yeah, um, but they did a rap video about saying no to drugs, and uh, well, people are doing a lot of drugs, so we thought this would be a good. <laughs> but I, I thought you were know. tying it in because of the playoffs, NBA playoffs. Yeah, that's right. Okay, I, that's forgot, okay. I forgot not, the tie. Drugs. I forgot the loose tie. <laughs> okay. Anyway, thanks for watching. Donate on Patreon, and we'll see you next week. Good night, everybody. Thanks. Say no to drugs. Say no to drugs. NBA playoffs. Say yes to Kurt Rambis. I don't need drugs. I got a higher thing. My sky hook makes a team look good, but there's a hook we got to shake from the neighborhood. My name is Weston on the court. I'm rough. Out here on the street, we all got to get tough. Say no to drugs. Call the drug man's brother. Call me Smurf and give my team my best. When you really care, you can do no less. But the game of life is more serious, because drugs make losers of all of us. It's Michael, but they call me cool. My main hangout is up around the hood. We play hard, but we still play smart. We never let drugs tear us apart. I'm AC Green with the word. You can't win the game with your vision blurred. Train your child the way to go. And when the drug man comes, he'll say no. The jump shot, I like the idea of being on top in the tops in reach of every man if drugs aren't in his master plan. I'm Kurt Ramis, they call me Superman, and I'm known to give a helping hand. Now there's a rival out there on the streets, we all got to work together to be. We're the top, but we're no relation, and we stand together.